All right, we're on to box four. All right, first one. Ooh, we've got the Starlight Anniversary Pack, first wave, Chronicle. This set was out of print. I think they just did a small little print wave. And PSA 10 Starlight Blue Eyes Anniversary Pack has been pulled. Here it is. Oh man, I don't even know what to quote this at, but god damn. The day we get this in English, people are just gonna go wild, dude. Freaking ripping shirts off like Hulk Hogan, brother. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful card. To get this in a tin is absolutely awesome. This might be one of my favorite things that I've pulled. Whew, jeez, man. Oh, we've got the premium gold. Is this the first gold set? Maybe, it looks pretty good to me. Find out here. Turn me just a girl. Oh, six, awful. I remember this, this has a funny story too. I was gonna make a video on this, but I got a collection of cards that were from DreamWorks, like the people that made Shrek. And this is one of the cards that was in there. So I figured, you know, one, this is actually a pretty rare card to get in high grade, didn't get it. Uh, but it was just kind of stuffed in the collection, so it's kind of a funny little story. I'll just keep this card, you know. Very beautiful looking. What's this? <gasps> what is that? Oh, we have a gold star, Crystal Guardian Celebi. Now, before you go in here, like, cracking packs says Pokemon. These are actually my best friend's Pokemon cards that he wanted graded. And before you start thinking this is tens of thousands of dollars, I'm gonna let you know right now, they are all in terrible condition, but he wanted to slap them. <laughs> yeah, PSA 4, let's go, dude. Did my best to clean it, but it's it's pretty worn. These are like his childhood cards, but he, he, he figured, yeah, there's a crease right there. That's what it is. I don't think you can see it. We're trying to go for PSA 1, if, if we were lucky enough, but it's for the meme. I don't know if it'll happen. Silent. Swordsman. Duelist pack rivals the Pharaoh. I just realized all the certs on this are cursed, bro. The 666s, whatever. Let's go. PSA 9. 6669. Oh, oh, there is one more Starlight, I believe. I don't know. Maybe I'll be caught off guard. There's so many cards in this collection. Will it be a PSA 10 like the other one? We got two PSA 10 Starlight. Oh, man. I love Battle of Chaos. Like, as a collector. Bro, what? How easy are these to, I don't know how easy or hard these are to grade. And they're so metal, look at that. Oh my God. Okay, all right. I still like to Korean one more. <laughs> oh, it heard my cry. We need to make the blue eyes ultimate dragon. What do we get? A second PSA 10, starlight, blue eyes white dragon. Let's go, dude. Okay, we've got to make the blue eyes ultimate. And the, the funny thing is that in the 15AX set, you can get the blue eyes ultimate dragon so you in the starlight so you can have literally three of these and then have the or actually it's not a true starlight it's more like the stardust we pulled earlier but that would be really cool man they knew what they were doing with those chase cards huh? oh my god look at this what's the different i want to see the old case and the new case i guess this one is still from the newer cases all right Silent Magician. So these are actually Christmas gifts. So let's see what I pull. You guys know Mo, you see him on the channel. He does most of the TikTok stuff. He works with me doing the whatnot streams as well. A lot of behind the scenes stuff with social media content. His two favorite cards are Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman. So I'm gonna give him my two graded ones. Whatever they came back in, don't care. PSA eight. And those are from the Duelist Pack Rivals of the Fair. I think this is around $40 cards overall. So maybe hundred each if they were tens, I don't know. Awesome Millennium. This actually came from the pack and I pulled it. And let's see what the grade is. Oh, PSA 9, not bad. It's not an ultimate rare, but it's still a very beautiful card. Oh wait, it's GX. Disregard what I said. Jinzo, this is from that same collection, so I assume that it's probably also gonna be a little bit beat up, but uh, this, the first premium gold set is just very rare. Seven, not as bad as a six. Still very cool. Power Tool Dragon, the first and only ghost rare that I had pulled until very recently, uh, until uh, Homie Thoinks pulled one raw out of a box that he bought from a case of mine in Rage of Raw. And then beyond that, I had not pulled any ghost rares until Ghost from the Past 1. Oh, so this is the only ghost rare I pulled back in the day. Raging Blast Unlimited, PSA 9. There it is. Power Tool Dragon, very beautiful card. It's hard to grade ghost rares, the uh, printing on him. Oh, and now we have the Portuguese one. We have Drago Benco e Holos <laughs> Zilius. I go for it. I almost actually went to Portugal and uh, studied uh, classical guitar, so they'd be very disappointed in my butchering of the language. PSA 9, straight from the boxes. I've opened a couple of these on the channel, the, the decks, and mostly I just got them uh, to have, relive a little nostalgia, and I figured, you know, to recoup the loss on it, I could create them and see what we get. A second PSA 9 starter deck, Kaiba, Blue Eyes, first edition. We talked a lot about this set. You guys know what the deal is. An eight. This is so hard to grade, man, so hard to grade. Anything more than an eight is just nice. Okay, so this is a childhood card that I wanted to preserve, it means that whole lot to me it's not first edition but it was my childhood lugia i'm telling you don't get your hopes up on looking at these you say five that is our first five we do have one four before it that is our first five wanted to pay the whatever amount to get that slabbed right next to 
my other childhood Pokemon card, which came back in way better condition than I expected. Uh, the, the scratches you see right there on the, actually the outer sleeve, but it's in pretty good condition, so PSA 9. Shining Gyarados, uh, I don't know, maybe, hopefully a PSA 1. Yes, we got a PSA 1, yes! The fucking PSA one, Shining Gyarados. Let's go, dude. This is a uh, boy, Seamus. You've seen the Kraken Packs Game Boy on the channel before, probably whatnot. Uh, we were hoping. There's literally. I don't think you can see that. There's literally a bicycle tread mark across it. Isn't that fucking funny? Oh my god. Yes, we did it. PSA one. There's people that actually just collect PSA ones. And I know Seamus just wanted to, you know, in case, and they look pretty cool. Um, and, and getting those in tens is just unrealistic for somebody that doesn't do trading card stuff. It's just absolutely so expensive. Shiny Magikarp. So this is the one. Um, shout out to Pet Party, uh, Peter. Great guy. Uh, we did a lot of collect con stuff together last year with Ruxton and Lewis and Vins and VOP and Yu Gi Mo and everybody else. Uh, this was something I picked up off of him to give to Seamus, who was his birthday at the time. So happy birthday to Seamus. Came back a five. Hey, let's go. So together we have almost a PSA 10. If you take the Celebi, the Gyarados, put them all together, we got five. Oh, no, yeah, all together makes a PSA 10. That's how it works, right? I can't believe we got a one, dude. I'm so happy about that. Can we get another one? This is a Groudon, which this is only from the gold area of Pokemon, man. First three sets. PSA 5, that's probably the highest anything from this set is going to get. I'm so curious what the price on those would be. I mean, at that point, it's probably better to sell them raw if you were trying to go that route, but we'll still do a little research here. Ooh, PSA 4, Metagross, Gold Star. I like childhood cards, preserving them suckers. Reggie Ice, Gold Star, what do we have? PSA 3, oh my god, we almost have, we need a PSA 2, and then we have one of every grade. 